During its peak times, excluding the pandemic era, Hua Hin can be fairly busy so it does have that Bangkok vibe. But at the same time, as it's located in a much smaller area with a beach, it does have that summer holiday atmosphere. In addition, several professional adult workers and backstreet massage parlours give Hua Hin a somewhat Pattaya vibe. There is a large expat community situated within Hua Hin. The majority of these are over the age of 50, however, However, you can sometimes spot young travellers and backpackers, but these are rarer. So why do foreigners live in Hua Hin? The English level in Hua Hin is impressive. Many Thais can speak English very well. Another reason why foreigners live in Hua Hin is because of the cost of living. Finally, Hua Hin also has a fantastic beach scene. It is highly accessible to other areas of Thailand. For example, you could take a trip to the capital or drive down to the south of Thailand for only a few hundred Thai bar. So now it's time to look at the cost of living in Hua Hin. To live comfortably in Hua Hin as an expat, you will need to budget around $1,100 to $1,450 a month. However, if you can live economically, it's very much possible to live on a budget of $800 to $1,200 a month. Hua Hin is slightly more expensive than the north, but it is not as costly as living on Sukhumvit Road in Bangkok. With the right research and time, you will be able to find a lifestyle to suit all budgets. The cost of a condominium in Hua Hin ranges and the price depends on the availability. Prices are low due to the ongoing pandemic, but prices may increase year by year as tourism returns. For a small studio in Hua Hin, prices range between 7,500 Thai bar to 9,000 Thai bar. For a one bedroom condominium, price ranges between 9,000 and 12,000 Thai bar. Food costs are fairly standard in this area, however, the odd expense pushes the budget up when living in Hua Hin. For example, a Starbucks coffee will cost you around 80 to 90 Thai bar in the north, whereas in Hua Hin, a coffee in Starbucks currently goes between 120 to 140 Thai bar. Even though this is only a slight difference, these small expenses push up your overall budget. One additional question you may be wondering is, is Hua Hin worth visiting? Hua Hin is most definitely worth a visit, even if this is only for a short term. If you are looking to visit Hua Hin for a short time, perhaps only a few days or a few weeks, then the cost of living in Hua Hin is something that you really don't need to worry about too much. So finally, the ultimate question, should you move to Hua Hin in Thailand? What is often recommended is to take a trip anywhere from two weeks to four weeks to explore Hua Hin for yourself. This is to see if the atmosphere and the overall style of living is suitable for your lifestyle. For example, when I moved to Hua Hin, I decided in the first few weeks that even though the area has a lot to offer, it is slightly too quiet for me and I prefer a big city such as Bangkok or Chiang Mai. The reality is, is that we all have certain areas of interest that are important to us. For example, these can be a relationship, living cheaply or socialising. So the real question is, can these areas in your life be found in Hua Hin? Hua Hin offers retirees, travellers and expats a lot, but it is typically a more relaxed way of life. The area may be much smaller than previous cities that you have lived in, so like me, you may find Hua Hin slightly too quiet, but this is naturally subjective. 